But Happy New Year! This is the cheat sheet, the first complete one for the new year. It is January the 3rd, 2012, and I haven't screwed that up, even when signing on a document yet. That's that's pretty good. All right, so um, the final look before the Iowa caucus tonight, Hawkeye Cockeye. It's been right along, the Iowa caucus has looked like a three-person race, but the names sure have changed quite a bit. When last we spoke, Ron Paul actually had pulled in front of the uh, the polls in Iowa, and I was saying that if history held, Ron Paul might actually carry about a two-point win over Mitt Romney, uh, and you might see either a Newt Gingrich or even a Rick Santorum finish third. Well, uh, Newt Gingrich is now in the single digits in Iowa, and when we take a look at the running average of all the polls before the caucus tonight, Mitt Romney is actually peaking at the right time. He is now leading by a point over Ron Paul at 22, and Rick Santorum has picked up the momentum of late. You've probably heard a lot about it at 16. Uh, so, you know, it'll be interesting. Uh, the, the bottom line is, as close as this is, anything obviously can happen tonight. And a lot of momentum comes into play with the Iowa caucus because it's just a bunch of people getting together. And if your group of people can influence the other groups of people, a little bit more, then you can pull in front. So it's wide open. Ought to be an exciting night tonight, to be sure. Um, Google, talking about elections. Uh, for 2012, they have a brand new election site. They're coming in with what they say is the first fully integrated election site. Their motto is watch, learn, and participate. You know, Google hosted one of the debates uh, during the GOP debates uh, earlier in this uh, pre-election cycle. And they are clearly now making big play for you. Because what they figured out is that people who are into the elections, people who are politically active, come back every day, visit sites frequently. In fact, we're working on a product of our own that's going to be top-notch uh, covering local elections. Uh, but Google, uh, this concept that you're going to be able to watch the campaign ads, watch everything that's going on with the national candidates, learn about them, and then participate. They hope to have future debates, uh, live interactive section, sessions with candidates and such. It's an interesting concept, and I do have the direct link to the new election site on my fiscal cheat sheet today. Uh, men are gaining jobs at a much quicker rate than women. More than a two-to-one rate. In fact, out of the last two million jobs that have been added in the country, when we break it down, 1.3 million of those have been men to just about 600,000 women. And this number one reason... Uh, Unemployment rate with men has been higher than women, but a lot of it is that men are now opting for uh, positions in industries like retail that have been traditionally dominated by women. We've talked about, hey, you know, the construction jobs not coming back. What do you do? Well, you go work in a field that you might not have considered before. Uh, complete information about that as well on the physical cheat sheet today. And uh, many are opting for Social Security early. We are seeing a record number of people opting for it at 62. Uh, because they're fr afraid that it will go away before they sign up. I will make some suggestions suggestions about getting in touch with a financial advisor before you make that call. The one thing I would point out to you is that even though Social Security is broken, and for my generation, it might, very well might not be there, if you're over the age of 60, the odds are will be there for you. If you want to wait to 66 or you want to wait until you can get max benefits, you're probably going to be just fine. I'm not sure I'd rush on to it at 62 just because you're afraid that if you don't, you'll be left behind. It's a cheat sheet for today. See you tomorrow.